welcome back we're going straight into Leah I've just done Rachel about five minutes ago so I'm going straight into Leah as promised if you haven't watched Rachel I'll add it to the back of this so you can watch it but uh, the the beginning of the story is in Rachel so it would be good if you actually watch that first or if you at least have some idea about the story then you'll understand better if not you can pause this and go and watch Rachel and then come back to this or watch Rachel at the end I don't think it matters so Leah is the older daughter of Laban so the the story goes um, right from Rebecca Jacob had to flee uh, Shechem because his brother Esau was planning to kill him because he stole his blessing so he went to his uncle Laban's house where he saw Rachel Laban's younger daughter fell in love with her wanted to marry her he had to work seven years bright price for Rachel but his father-in-law deceived him on the wedding night and brought his older daughter Leah instead and uh, Jacob had no idea he consummated the marriage and then at the in the morning he realized the deception he went to his father-in-law saying I'd worked for Rachel not Leah why have you tricked me and his father-in-law said we cannot uh, this is our culture you can't marry the younger daughter while the older one is still single so we have to marry the older daughter off first so just complete the seven days um, honeymoon with Leah and then I'll give you Rachel as well and then work seven years also for for Rachel so he worked 14 years for Rachel really not for both sisters but for Rachel because that's who his choice was so Leah is what we're doing now so as I said she's the older daughter the Bible says she's a um, tender eyes so either she's cross-eyed or she's got a squint or she's um her eyes are red from weeping all the time either way she's not as beautiful as rachel so maybe that's why she's been single for so long i don't know so um so the bible says that leah was not loved jacob loved rachel more than leah Rachel was his wife of choice. Leah was for, uh, imposed on him, was forced on him. He was tricked into having Leah. So when God saw, because you know God, he's the God of uh, the margin, marginalized, the God of the widows, the orphans. He is the God of those who are being treated badly. When God saw that Leah was not treated right, she wasn't loved, he opened her womb. So she kept on having children and with each child she had she would name the child thinking okay now my husband would love me because i've had the son now my husband would love me no surely now my husband would love me you know he she was naming her kids like that but it did not make any difference jacob's heart was with rachel not with leah she had six sons for jacob and a daughter so her sons are reuben Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulon, and her daughter, Dinah. Before eventually, um, God had Rachel, and Rachel had two sons, Joseph and Benjamin, but she died giving birth to Benjamin. And uh, Leah also gave her maid, Zilpah, to her husband to have children, and they had two children, Gad and Asia. So, so eventually they left they left uh, Laban, they had to flee in the night because uh, Laban was treating Jacob roughly and he had um, like duped him out of his wages 10 times. He called his wives, Rachel and Leah, and said, I have to leave. We have to leave because this is what your dad is doing. And the daughters agreed that their dad wasn't playing fair. Even the bride price he collected, he was meant to give it to them, but he did not. He kept it himself. So they agreed and they fled with their husband um, you know and then um, along the way lots of other things happened but this is about Leah um, her, when they reached um, Shechem 
her daughter Dinah was raped. There was a man, uh, the son of Hamor, a Hivite, who saw Dinah and loved her, but he raped her. And after he raped her, he so much loved her, so he told his dad to get Dinah for him. He wants to marry her. So uh, this, uh, men, uh, the dad went to Jacob to say, my son would like to marry your daughter, Dinah. Jacob heard about the rape. He did not say anything. He waited for his sons to come back from the field. So we're, I'm talking about Dinah because she's Leah's daughter. So he waited for the sons to come back and told them. So they were fuming, but they kept it and said, okay, we will get married to you, but your men have to be circumcised because we can't marry uncircumcised men. And they were fine to do that. So they went back to their city and told all the men that these people who have arrived, they're wealthy. You know, we can share um, their wealth, everything. Let us intermarry. So we all have to be circumcised. So all the men in the city agreed to be circumcised. So when they were uh, sore, I think the third day, when they were sore in pain, the sons of Jacob descended, I think it was two of them, Simeon and Levi, and killed all the men of Shechem. They were too weak, they were too much in pain to fight back. So they were sitting ducks, killed all of them and uh, rampaged their city, took the spoils. They just, they, they, they committed an atro uh, atrocious thing. And then when Jacob heard of it, he said, what is this you have done? You know, if all the other neighboring cities hear of it, we're, we're, we're going to be killed. And the brothers said, well, they shouldn't have raped our sister. They shouldn't have done that. Nobody does that. So they were not repentant. So um, Jacob had to get his family and say, okay, we need to leave. So they left uh, Shechem and moved to Bethel. So, <clears throat> so then the... Um, so then there was the story of Joseph, their brother sending Joseph to slavery. There was all of that in between. And then there was the reunion between Joseph and his dad when they found out that Joseph was still alive. He wasn't dead. He was the prime minister of Egypt. And there was that reunion. <clears throat> and then Jacob was uh, about to die at the end. And he tells his sons to bury him in the cave at Machpelah. That that's where Sarah was buried, Abraham was buried, Isaac and uh, Rebecca were buried there, and there he buried Leah. So that's the first time we know that Leah died, but we don't know how she died. We don't know um, when she died. Was it before Joseph was found or afterwards? Nothing. It's only because he mentioned it at the end in chapter 49 of Genesis that there I buried Leah. So Leah is buried in the cave at Machpelah. And as I said in uh, Rachel, she wasn't buried there. She's the only one that wasn't buried at the cave, probably because she died along the route. So there was no time to get her to the cave. So this is just the story of Leah. It just shows that um, if you are being maltreated in any which way, either through your fault or not, if you cry out to the Lord, He will answer and He will show compassion unto you. There are some stories I actually heard that um, Rachel, it was with Rachel's plan that they should take Leah to her husband on that night so that her, so that her sister can have a husband. That it was her plan as well. She knew what she was doing. She felt sorry for her sister. She loved her sister. And she didn't want her sister to remain a, a spinster all her life. And that she actually agreed that, right, you go and just disguise yourself. He won't know. And let him marry you. That it was her plan. But the Bible does not say this. So I'm not sure. I'm not certain if this was the case. But this is the story of Leah. It's a short one because there's not much about her that she had. And, you know, as, as we know, the story was her son's that almost killed the uh, Rachel's son, Joseph. Um, you see, so this is what rivalry can do. And because Jacob loved Joseph more than the other sons anyway, so they must have been envious of the boy. So anyway, this is Rachel, uh, sorry, this is Leah, 
this is Leah in Women of the Bible. So I'll add Rachel to the end of this so you can watch it. God bless you. Thank you. Bye.